This is a review of the Sun Dolphin Journey 10 SS Fishing Kayak. The Journey 10 is a sit-on-top kayak that's specifically designed for kayak fishing. It's popular with beginners and anglers on a budget due to its low price. It's one of the smallest and most likely kayaks on the market, which makes it a great choice if you're short on storage space or want a kayak that's easy to transport. In this review, I'll assess the performance and build quality of the Sun Dolphin Journey 10. I'll also look at the fishing accessories and features that make it a great fishing kayak. Let's dive right in. The Sun Dolphin Journey 10 is an ideal first kayak for fishing and recreational paddling on small lakes and calm rivers. Because of its small size, it's best suited to shorter persons. If you're over 5 foot 10, then I'd recommend looking at the Journey 12 SS kayak which has similar features but more legroom. If you're an experienced paddler, you may find the performance and comfort of the Journey 10 limiting, particularly for longer trips. However, as an introductory kayak, it does a great job of giving you a taste of what it's like to fish from a kayak. I would recommend using the Journey 10 on the sea or in choppy waters or rough conditions. You'll have a drier, more enjoyable experience in calm weather. I prefer sit-on-top kayaks to sitting kayaks for kayak fishing as they're more stable and you don't have to worry about your kayak flipping over in the water. The Journey 10 SS is pretty stable when you're sitting down. As it's smaller than other fishing kayaks, it feels a little unstable in choppy water, but you shouldn't have any problems paddling on small lakes or calm rivers. I also wouldn't take the Journey 10 out on the sea. It's not designed to punch through waves and the center of gravity is too high to make it stable in rough water. That doesn't make it a bad kayak, just one that performs best in calmer conditions. The Journey 10 SS is a great kayak when it comes to maneuverability. Although it's marketed as a 10-foot kayak, it's actually just over 9 and a half feet long. The short length makes it snappy to turn and easy to maneuver in small spaces. Its maneuverability makes the Sun Dolphin Journey 10 an excellent choice for fishing small water or excluded areas that larger craft can't access. It's easy to navigate around rocks and avoid overhanging vegetation. Tracking refers to how well a kayak keeps a straight line when you're paddling. Sure, flat bottom boats are harder to track straight, so it's perhaps not surprising that the Journey 10 SS doesn't excel at tracking. Even in calm conditions, you may find yourself turning in circles as soon as you stop paddling. If you're an experienced paddler then you could consider adding a small skeg to the keel of the kayak to make it easier to track straight. The Sun Dolphin Journey 10 is constructed from high-density polyethylene. This is a durable plastic that doesn't need much maintenance and will pretty much last forever. To back this up, the kayak comes with a limited lifetime warranty. You can sometimes get dents or distortions in a kayak, particularly if you have to compress it when traveling. This isn't a disaster. Just leave the kayak in a warm, sunny spot and the polyethylene should bounce back to its original shape. As I mentioned above, the Journey 10 is short for sit-on-top kayak. This makes it a good choice if you're short on storage space at home or if you're transporting it on top of a small vehicle. At 44 pounds, it's easy for solo kayakers to get in and out of the water. The kayak doesn't have any handles to help with handling, but it's small and light enough that this isn't a deal breaker. The Sun Dolphin Journey 10 SS is rated for a maximum weight of 250 pounds. If you're a large person, you may be wondering how you're supposed to fit you and your kit in the kayak. To be honest, if that's a concern, then I'd suggest looking at the Journey 12 SS, which is rated up to 395 pounds. As a smaller person, I found the Journey 10's capacity perfectly adequate. I could fill up the storage compartment and make the most of the bungee cord rigging without going over the recommended weight limit. We hope you found our in-depth review helpful and informative. Comment below if you have any questions about this review or explanation. Thanks for watching.